What's up, everybody? Go Burns, welcoming you to another installment of my Q&A series, giving you, my viewers, subscribers, and fans, the opportunity to ask me any question you like, whether it's about Grand Theft Auto, other games, gaming in general, personal questions, advice, etc. And we have a few questions that were submitted via PlayStation, YouTube, Facebook. You could have also done so via Twitter, Xbox Live, and my email address, goburns at gmail.com. The first question is one that several of you have been inquiring about over the past few weeks when we've been gaming together, either on PlayStation or Xbox, or you just sent me a message on Facebook or an email asking, will there be a Grand Theft Auto Online Holiday DLC? Now, we have a track record. When Grand Theft Auto Online first came out, October 2013, in December 2013, we got a holiday season DLC. Then a year later, in 2014, we got the Festive Surprise DLC. So if we go by the tradition and track record of Rockstar when it comes to Grand Theft Auto Online and the holiday season, I think we will be seeing a third installment of a holiday DLC. Now the items it'll contain most likely are the same Christmas themed items we've got in the past two years. The masks, the ugly sweaters, the scarves, all that good stuff. Now I get the feeling that Rockstar is going to follow the trend that they've had for the past two DLCs is that while this stuff will be technically free, quote unquote, where you can go grab it and play of it for a few weeks during the uh, time limit in DLC, once the DLC is pulled, all that stuff will be locked away once again. And that really hurts my soul because I would very much like to buy some of those outfits, especially the snowman mask for my Sandy Shore Snowman series, which will be returning once the holiday series is opened, brought back for 2015. So I don't know how many episodes of Sandy Shore Snowman I'm going to do, but feel free and go back and check out the previous installments up on my channel. Now the big difference from the first year and the second year is last year in Festa Surprise, we also got a few other items like some vehicles. We got, what, uh, two wrapped versions of the uh, Jester, then a wrapped version of the Masakro that you could buy, a.k.a. the race car versions of those rides. We also got two trucks, the Rat Truck and, of course, the Slam Van, the homing rocket launcher, let's see, the Proximity Mine, and if you logged in on certain days, you got the coveted limited edition red stocking mask, as well as snow days, which were a lot of fun. The entire map was covered in snow. You could run around throwing snowballs at each other. It was a hoot and a holler. So if there is a third holiday time limited DLC, which I think there will be, I believe that it will come with new content that we will be able to purchase maybe some vehicles, maybe some weapons, maybe finally the chance for us to purchase all that Christmas holiday themed items, the clothing, the masks, etc., and keep them in our inventory forever. Now let's move on to the questions that were submitted for Q&A 14.0. First off, we go to one of my longest, most loyal, faithful subscribers, viewers, and friends all the way across in the UK. The games guy asked me, what is Thanksgiving like, and what did I do for Turkey Day? Thanks for the question, Adam. My Thanksgiving was okay. I hanged out with a friend. We cooked turkey. We had some dressing. We had some mashed potatoes and gravy. And some pecan pie, or as others pronounce it, pecan pie. So that's basically what Thanksgiving is, just stuffing your face, your pie hole, with a lot of very, very tasty food. And it's also to give thanks. Now realize that Thanksgiving has a lot to do with being thankful or giving thanks, as I mentioned a moment ago, and the uh, Thanksgiving parades, the uh, American football games on Thanksgiving that's broadcast. But pretty much, if you have a Christmas that's very similar to what I described with turkey and dressing, stuffing, and casserole, and mashed potatoes, rice, gravy, all that jazz, then that's pretty much the gist of Thanksgiving. The same thing happens on Christmas here in the States. Thanks for the question, games guy. Next, we go to the old crone, also in the UK. What is my favorite game? Well, this is not exactly what I would call an easy question to answer, crone. Thanks for submitting this one, by the way. <laughs> I can't just say that there's one game in particular that 
is above all the others because I love gaming. I've been doing it ever since I was a kid back in the 80s. I know I go from way back in the day, but I just have so many games that I've played over the past decades that I have trouble picking a fave. I obviously love the Grand Theft Auto series. Been a fan ever since the first game back in the 90s on the PlayStation 1, the top-down version. I love Super Mario, Zelda, I love Red Dead Redemption, the Diablo series, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, obviously the Batman Arkham series, and uh, several Star Wars games from back in the 90s and early 2000s. Which leads me to this question for you. That's right, you. Let me know below in the comment section, what is your favorite game or your favorite games of all time? Thanks again for the question, Crone. Sorry I couldn't be more specific, but as I mentioned once or twice, I love gaming. Next, we go to the land down under. Shadow the Gamer has this question. Have you ever played any games like Mortal Kombat and do you like them? Okay, so I should have included Mortal Kombat in the previous question because I... I grew up playing Mortal Kombat back in the 90s in the arcades. The first one, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3. I was a big Mortal Kombat fan back in the day. I'd never really cared for Street Fighter. I was all about MK, baby. While I did play Mortal Kombat X with uh, one of my sister's fiancés, I have two kid sisters, both of which are engaged. One of them is about to get married, but they're both their fiancés, good guys who are also gamers. When I went to go visit them over the past what, spring, summer, I was able to play some MKX with one of the fiancés, and I enjoyed it. We had a good time playing. He mostly kicked my ass because I was very, very rusty at Mortal Kombat but I won a few rounds with Scorpion. That was my favorite of Mortal Kombat. I just never got around to purchasing it myself. However, I did buy the Mortal Kombat remake that came out several years prior to Mortal Kombat X, and I thoroughly enjoyed playing it. And it was a pretty good remake to both, well, actually, three Mortal Kombat games, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. Thanks for the question, Shadow. And the final question comes from eShorts. This is also the moment where I'm going to eat some proverbial crow in this installment of Q&A 14.0. An official apology to eShorts. Now, sometimes I get messages from people and I have a knee-jerk reaction in my mind which is usually sarcastic, kind of a jerk, an asshole, smart ass, whatever. And most of the time I think about it, and then I try to come up with a professional reply. I kind of failed in uh, my response to eShorts the other day. And for that eShorts, I sincerely apologize. Now, the question he asked was, am I going to be doing Let's Plays of other games like Fallout 4 and Just Cause 3? Now, obviously, I did do a Let's Play a few weeks ago of Fallout 4. It didn't get so many views, so I stopped doing it. However, I'm still religiously playing Fallout 4 on my lonesome, and I intend to post Fallout 4 news and DLC info and future mods that come out on the Xbox One in a few months. So I'm still going to be doing Fallout 4 coverage on my channel. I just stopped with the Let's Play because of lack of views and I just started the Just Cause 3 Let's Play on Wednesday and so far I have been very shocked and awed by the response regarding Just Cause 3. I mean I could not anticipate that I got so many views for me for my channel when it comes to doing uh, Let's Play so I'm excited about that so I will most likely continue doing the Just Cause 3 Let's Play. Now some people may be like well E Short should have known better because you did the Fallout 4 Let's Play a few weeks ago. It was on your channel. You did 8 episodes. Okay. However, let's look at it from another point of view. We're all living in a first person perspective. We're all busy with our little lives doing our little things, and sometimes you miss out. Sometimes you are doing this, or you're busy with school, or work, or life, and you don't even realize that someone else is doing something until you ask. In other words, my knee-jerk reaction to eShorts was one out of anger and frustration, not specifically at eShorts, but because I put out this content daily, I do try my best to grow my channel and give you, my faithful viewers, subscribers, and fans, a reason to keep coming to my channel every day. It does kind of sting a little when I get a question kind of like that, asking something that, am I going to do something when I already did it and spent several weeks promoting it? 
But at the same time, I understand that we're all busy with our lives. We've got a lot going on. And I have no hard feelings to East Shorts or anyone else. And to keep it real, I was kind of having a bad day when I read that question. So I'm sorry, East Shorts, for being an asshole to you in the uh, PlayStation community section, which now has, what, over 40 peeps in it. That's pretty sweet. And uh, hopefully I have earned your forgiveness by throwing myself at your mercy in this video. Thanks, everybody, for uh, submitting your questions. East Shorts, Shadow, Crone, Games Guy. Everybody that was inquiring about the holiday DLC for Grand Theft Auto Online. And coming up tomorrow, we'll be doing a Racing Badly episode. Then on Sunday, we're going to take a break from my rant series because I got no rant ideas. So I'll throw out episode three of Just Cause Let's Play for all my Just Cause 3 fans wanting and craving and desiring another exciting installment of uh, Just Cause 3. And once again, do not forget to let me know below in the comment section what is your favorite game or games of all time. Mm -hmm.